right, team, we're gonna make some grilled and griddled cheese sandwiches coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen. So glad you're here. If you're returning subscriber part of CJ's crew, you know, I love you. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. All right, so what are we doing here today, guys? Real simple, we're gonna do a couple grilled cheese sandwiches. Now, when I think of grilled cheese, I think of, you know, putting it on a griddle or a pan, flipping it on the stove, all that stuff. But, you know, the true meaning of grilled is you're using a grill, right? So we're gonna use the Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle today. We're going to make one griddled, right? We're gonna use the griddle plate and then we're gonna make one grilled using the grill plate. All right, so just a fun little video. I, it's funny the requests I get for recipes, uh, you know, simplest ones, even like the grilled cheese. So, you know, I make a list, you know, you, you put in the comments what you want me to make on these ninjas. You know, I put it on a list, I keep it in mind. I have a, you know, whiteboard that I keep all my stuff on and you know, that's what I go with, you know? So today, simple grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch, right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was more to it, but it's real simple. We just got some butter. We got that American cheese. I got Kraft singles. So use whatever cheese you like. People get salty in the comments when I use American cheese, uh, especially the ones in that wrapper. But you know, it's delicious on a grilled cheese. If you don't want to use it, use whatever the hell you want. I don't care. <laughs> this is just simply, we're just doing grilled cheese sandwiches right? and I like the American cheese all right and then you got some bread we're gonna take some butter get it on the outside of the bread so it'll toast up real nice get a couple pieces of cheese in each sandwich and that's it guys simple as can be all right come on down to the Ninja Foodie Grill station otherwise known as my kitchen island let's get started okay, team we're on the Foodie Grill station we're gonna turn that bad boy on we're gonna go over to the griddle setting that 400 degrees 30 minutes okay Here's the deal, before I get preheating, we're gonna have the griddle plate on, right? For the first sandwich. Then we're gonna take it off. It'll still be hot because the heat's coming up from the bottom. We're not gonna close the top. And then we'll grill the second sandwich. So let's get this preheating. All right, we'll let it come up the tip and then we'll get the sandwiches on. All right, team, we're almost preheated over here. Let's go ahead and get these sandwiches buttered up. Yeah. I know a lot of people out there you want to use mayonnaise on the outside of their grilled cheese. I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan, but again, you do you. You like mayonnaise on your grilled cheese? Knock yourself out. Okay, we're gonna be cooking with the lid open. I'm gonna get a couple pieces of these cheese ready. Because remember, we're gonna do one with the griddle, and then we're gonna do one with the grill itself. All right, let's get this down, just right in the middle. Get some of that good cheese on there. I know a lot of people are cringing right now, I'm sure. Top that bad boy off. We're just gonna let it do its thing. We'll give it a flip, finish it off, and then we'll pull this griddle plate out, and then we'll uh, grill one. We're gonna give it a flip. There we go. Look at that. Nice and lovely, golden brown, delicious. All right, another minute, we'll let it, uh, let it melt down real nice. Good, good. So pretty quick, couple minutes. I'll flip it over so you can see the other side. Looking dang good. Perfect color. All right, so I'm gonna take that off. I have these little silicone holders, okay? So they're heat protector holders. I'm gonna pull off the grill grate, stick it aside. I'm gonna pull off the griddle plate and stick it aside, not the grill grate. The grill plate is already hot. You know, that's how they get their See, <laughs> that's how they get the griddle plate going. Some cheese to it, okay. Then we'll cap it, move that down. Give it some time on the grill plate, then we'll give it a flip. All right, let's give it a flip. That turned around, there we go. Give it a flip, give it some contact, toast it up nice. Love those grill marks. <laughs> that is a true grilled cheese right there, perfect. <laughs> oh, I love it, that looks awesome. All right, we're all done with this one. We're gonna pull it off cut into these. In the comments down below, tell me, do you cut halfway through or do you cut on the diagonal? And which way are you gonna make your grilled cheese on your foodie grill and griddle? Are you gonna use the griddle plate? Or are you gonna use the grill plate? 
talk about in the comments. All right, both of these looking really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into these. They're looking great. I'm gonna freak some people out with OCD. Let's go ahead and cut this way. Traditional like, you like it in half like that? Or my, my OCD folks, I'm gonna go diagonal into the lines. People are gonna freak out. All right, let's try these. Just simple grilled cheese. I mean, I could take a bite and tell you how they are, but I mean, they're grilled cheese. I don't want to chew on camera, but you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's up to you if you guys want to make grilled cheese the way I do. But you know, cheddar, mozz, smoked gouda make a perfectly good grilled cheese. Okay. All right, y'all. If you want to get yourself one of these new Ninja Foodie grilling griddles, make sure you guys hit the link down below. It is to my affiliate link for Ninja Kitchen, and then there will be an affiliate link to Amazon, just depending on how you guys want to buy it. Right about this time of year, Ninja has tons of sales right now, so you might want to try their website. But I know people love the convenience of using Amazon, so if you guys want to check it out. If you want to get yourself some of the knives I use in my videos or the cutting boards or any of that stuff, all links are all down below. If you want to become part of CJ's crew for real right here on YouTube, get your name on my videos at the end. Make sure you hit that join button, become a member of the channel. It helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. All right. That's it, guys. We are done. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.